So today is uh, the annual SARX 2024 search and rescue exercise. Uh, what we're doing is we're bringing in agencies from all across the state and also across the nation to simulate the landfall of a hurricane. And with that, there's a lot of coordination that occurs from the State Operations Center all the way down to the local resources. Uh, the role that Texas A&M Task Force One takes is to come in to support those local resources, but also to practice the coordination of all of that from the SOC all the way down to the local resources. As you look behind me right here, you've got a helicopter that's flying by. We even have um, some GTAC. These are communicators. They're actual air traffic controllers that are working with uh, the resources that are coming in. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of helicopters. People think about Harvey, Katrina, Rita. And in those times, you had a lot of resources that came in to help. We have to coordinate all of that. We are a week away from hurricane season. I think Texas specifically has seen a lot of flooding over the last 10, 15 years. That is really where most of our training and our energy goes is to preparing, not only to respond to, but also more importantly, getting education out to the citizens and residents of Texas. Uh, it's pretty unique, uh, shameless plug, you know, Texas kind of leads the way on doing mm -hmm. some of this stuff, uh, but our partner agencies from all over the nation come. Sometimes they come and just observe to see what the feasibility is to take that back home so that they can be prepared. With the recent floods, we had responders from out of state that came and supported us with boat teams. We're very, very uh, thankful for those relationships. So this training is where all of that starts.